Hey, so when I played Combat League last season, I faced a Scorpion who kept jumping like this, and a Noob Saibot who kept jumping. We'll show you Noob Saibot in a second, but this kind of jumping here, you know, he would jump in and then come around, kick me, and sometimes what he'd do is just YOLO a teleport. He didn't even have to cancel. If he would have had to cancel, it would have been even worse. But not just that. So this is, it's a, like a crazy YOLO technique, but it's not that nuts because, for example, you try to anti-air and then he goes away, right? He teleports or he kicks teleports and here there are two high well the first one's an overhead and the second one's a high but you can't duck it because you're stuck in block stun for too long so if you even try to do down one from here you're gonna get hit and what he'd do so sometimes he wouldn't teleport right he'd use these frames so, you know obviously when it's a jump kick usually you should try to trade because it's often minus if you hit as soon as you can hit like this you see it's minus three right now deep jump kicks are plus and stuff but even if you do this one, which you should poke, you do this and then poke me first because I had to wait and see if he would teleport like this. You see how you can delay your teleport? Actually, I even lost against him. I couldn't believe it. But anyways, I explored ways to, to fight this. And other than being patient and just waiting for him to YOLO on block, you do something like this and then you fully punish him. There's not much you can do other than counter pick honestly and get a character that has nice anti-airs like sub-zero would be fine here right because sub-zero has this uh, not this this one so he would snatch him out of the air a robocop would be good as well but even going for anti-airs can be nerve-wracking because you you don't ever want to let go of block because they're, they're jumping and like imagine that he's jumping right now he's jumping he's jumping you try to get in to throw this at him and then he yolos a teleport and gets you so the way that i've beat the Noob Saibot. Let me tell you what Noob Saibot was doing and I'm gonna talk about Noob Saibot because because you can beat Scorpion the same way that I beat Noob Saibot. So this Noob Saibot had the air teleslam and what he would do he would just be around here full screen right he'd do this and just keep backing away and I had I think Cetrion. You're probably thinking why didn't you do the uh, anti-air boulder because the anti-air boulder is slow and as soon as you would have seen it he would have done this right. So yeah people were jumping like this and waiting to teleport if you're able to play Shiva, and I know it sounds scrubby, but you have to fight fire with fire. The way I beat this dude who was always jumping here is as soon as he jumped, as soon as he started jumping, I'm like, all right, I took Shiva and I stomped his ass. Every single jump, I stomped. And I was fair, honestly. Like, I was fighting him normally, and as soon as he started doing this, I'm like, all right, you want to do this? Stomp. <laughs> so that's one way to do it. Should work against Scorpion too. Not as well against Scorpion because when Scorpion teleports, sometimes he can evade the stomp. But if you're able to pick someone that has a, a good anti-air, right? And uh, a lot of people have good anti-airs. That would be how you would beat this move or beat this dude, right? Unless you want to be extremely patient and just wait. And I can't even do it right now. Wait until they mess up. But the problem is if they pick a variation like this. So for example, if they kept doing this, right? You just have to block, but then there's two counters they can do. If they have the cancel, and you're just waiting for them to, to YOLO and block their YOLO, right? Then that's pressure you have to face. They might do this, who knows what they might do. They might cancel it, backdash back one, or they might simply let it rip and you open you up. So I was lucky that the Scorpion didn't even have the cancel. And if you just keep waiting until they teleport, then that's when this is gonna happen. If you keep blocking, then they do this and grab you. So the only way, honestly, that I see beating a scorpion that keeps jumping like this is to have someone with a strong anti-air or, or stomp with Shiva. So like we have Robocop here that has a good anti-air. Uh, Rain's gonna be able to do it too. Maybe Shang with his lift. Her with the upraiser Rang. Do I even have it? I do. But essentially the point of this video, <laughs> because I'm not really showing you a good way to beat him. I'm just giving you advice on uh, switching and who you can switch to. If you have a back pocket Shiva, you learn how to play with her. Don't just learn how to stomp because if they are able to neutralize your stomps, then you're kind of screwed, right? But learn someone that has a good anti-air. Look at Rain's anti-air. And it combos too, right? Okay, and I'm not comboing like a moron. And I'm not doing it. As you guys know, my mains are Sonya and Cetrion. But I play all the characters, so what I do is I counter pick. So for example, when I see someone picking, uh, let's say, actually Cetrion, I'm good with Sonya against Cetrion because I use her rings to neutralize her, her uh, neutral. So when she like resets neutral with a win, I throw a, win a, a ring. Now you can say, well, she can wall and then amp and cr get a crushing blow in my face, but then I delay my, my rings. That works. When I pick, when I find an opponent who picks Joker, I pick Spawn 
if I get some jumpers with noob or scorpion, I pick Shiva and I stomp them when they jump. Still trying to find a counter pick against Jade, but I think that spawn outspaces are pretty well. Sonya has a lot of good options against Jade when it comes to grabbing Jade uh, after the four or the back three. But of course, it's if Jade has the the Leah's dance, you know, that kind of nullifies the back three because they don't complete it, they just do the low. But I found that even Scarlet, like the tongue, the glow doesn't do anything against the tongue, right? So you can tongue her, so I'm thinking maybe Scarlet is a good counter against Jade. When someone picks Shiva, I pick, I've, I've been picking Jade and just walk forward. Melina is always an option too. Actually, against Jade, what I've been doing is that as Cetrion, I usually just stick with either Sonya or Cetrion. And as soon as she glows, it's him playing Cetrion, and Jade glows, she's full screen. As soon as she glows, I grab her because the vines grab the glow. But let's say that she's constantly glowing. When she's glowing, you can't use the, the wind, right? So the first wind touches, as you saw, but not the second one, and you get massively punished, minus 19. Even the wall, the wall goes through, even the wall amp, right? But then what I do with Cetrion here to not get caught, I just don't reset neutral. I stagger, I do 1-1. One, one, Right, or 1 1 2, or just my 2 1 3. And if I go for the 4 2, I just stop it right here. I don't do more than that. Because you can't, right? The, the purpose when you're playing Cetrion against Jade at this point, you're just wanting to get rid of her glow. And that's how you adjust with everyone else that you play. When you play against a Jade that's glowing in your face, like if you have Noob Cybot, I don't think that his slides go. I do think that his slides go through Jade, so you have to adjust and not do them, obviously. But yeah, the Vine Grab against Jade is good. Anyways, I think that was more of a discussion than a tech video. That's it guys, like, comment, subscribe, peace. <laughs>